Tonight, we are going to the Grant Humphrey Mansion in Denver, Colorado. Built in 1903 by Governor James B. Grant for his family, the governor made his fortune in the mining business. He lived there in the home until he passed away in his bedroom in 1911. His widow sold the mansion to oil tycoon Albert Humphreys, and due to the mansion's size, he invited his two adult children to move in with him. Albert Jr. and Ira Boyd were happy to oblige. Ira's daughter, Alice Lucille, was the first child to be born in the mansion. Her entire youth was spent in this mansion, although she moved out and lived her life elsewhere. Some say her spirit remains in her childhood home to this day. Alice Lucille died in 1991 at the age of 73. Now, let's get into the haunting. Current director Rita Rallman reports hearing things fall when she is alone in the mansion. When she goes to the area of the disturbance, nothing is moved. Employee John Andrews didn't believe in ghosts, that is until he began working at the mansion. About one month after he started, he was closing up after an event, and he was on the third floor when he saw a blonde-haired little girl in the doorway. He did a second take, and when he did, she vanished. Several months later, while setting up for an event, caterer, a caterer approached John and asked why there was a little girl running around when the event hadn't started yet. He asked the caterer to describe her, and it fit the exact description of the little girl he saw. Guests report hearing playful giggles and having their hair tugged on. Other strange occurrences are odd noises at night, cold patches in the basement, lights turning on and off on their own, and the fire alarms going off. So, is it haunted? I think so. I'll see you guys next time.